has recently won an award for Best mm. Comedian at the BIFTA. BIFTA? BIFTA. BIFTA Awards. The Black Entertainment Film, Fashion, Television Arts. Mm. She's also an actress, presenter, and a singer. Wow. Hailing from mm. Northwest London, she's best known for her rapping <laughs> <laughs> and comedy. <laughs> And just loves to entertain and make people laugh. Very much like you, Barstow. Very much indeed, absolutely. <laughs> We're here to talk to us more about the award and the journey to it is... Melanie Gale, welcome. Hey, how hi, are guys. You? Thank you for having me here. I learned something already what about London learn? Bridge and Tower London Bridge. Bridge. It's amazing. Each yeah. bridge, they say you learn something every day and I've already learned it. I'm See, glad I'm here. And, and you probably where the song London Bridge is Falling Down came from. London Bridge is Because London Bridge is falling, falling down because they took the bridge apart and sent it to America. Right. That's where it was It tells you about See? America's yeah. not too smart, are it's they? It's good to be here and just learn already. <laughs> <It's> my first <laughs> minute on the show. Absolutely. Loving it. Lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for inviting me on. Your hair is very is standing out. I told you. Am I not clashing? Am I clashing? It could have been no, matching. No, no. I was just been... with my hairdresser today saying, bit of purple would make all the jazz difference. Jazz it up. Jazz I it up I thought, do you know what, it's winter, it's usually black, <coughs> just jazz it up a little bit, go for something Why different. Not? It's a bit Why radical, not? it's a bit radical, but I've done it. Lovely to have you here. We, we, we were speaking earlier in the break, but you went to... Uh, a stage school that I, I, I know fit pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I used to go to Barbara Speak, Barbara Speak Stage School as a yeah. child. Um, and when I was there, you know, I learned all the stuff. My mm. favourite thing was tap dancing. Like, I love tap mm. dancing. I can still do it. Got those jazz well, you got hands. jazz hands. I got jazz, jazz hands all day. <laughs> but when I left, I went straight into the music. Like, I was a bit of a tomboy growing mm, yeah. up. And I was really influenced by Miss Elliot. And I was like the UK version of Missy E. That's what I was going to oh. do. So I was called like Caramel G, aka MTG. You had Caramel G. Caramel, Caramel G? G. That's right. Yeah, Google right. it. There's some stuff out there if you want to hear it. I need to pull it offline. I'm going to go on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I've got yeah, my albums and stuff I put out. Nice. But you know, like everything I do, I just love it. And I used to love doing my music and stuff like that. And then um, the funny thing is um, learning to swim, which yeah. is really weird because. I can't swim. Well, I just about learnt to swim. Yeah. Um, but when I learnt to swim, I thought, I never saw the day I'll be able to do that. And when I learnt to swim a few strokes, mm. and I got a bit better, and I thought, do you know what? What else can I do? Like, what else can I do? Yeah. And I always wanted to do comedy. So one year I just said, you know what? Let's try comedy. That was last year. Um, I did a short course. Mm. Um, there's a Comedy course doesn't make you funny. People say, can it make you yeah. funny? Um, it was a course that just <coughs> maybe gave me the art of joke writing mm. and the confidence maybe to go out there and stuff. Um, I literally did that seven-week course, did my gig, um, enjoyed it. And then my second gig was in a contest called Golden Jester. Yeah. And I got through to the court finals. And then the rest, and I've just oh, been fantastic. out there. I've just so, been out there I mean, ever it's since. It's interesting, that because you, you went to a course. I mean, I always thought someone who's a comic they, they, is something which is quite naturally... Intrinsic yeah, to them, yeah. right? Because it's got to come from your your personality. Yeah, that's what I'm and, saying. Know. So people yeah. were saying, "What? You know, did they make you funny?" But I yeah. think, the, like growing up, people from school days, I was always like the class clown, <laughs> always the one yeah. telling the jokes in the family. And I used to go to comedy shows for years and years and years. But I just mm. never had the oomph to... This is you, right? Oh, Performing. yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole goblin. Uh, as... uh, this, this clip <laughs> I got through to the Montreal Comedy um, Final 20 for the UK out of 1,000. I sent this video clip in. Oh, really? And out of wow. 1,000 entries, I made it to the final 20. That's really good. Yeah, That's with that fantastic. clip. Yeah, so and really that took proud. you how long to, to get to that point? I started last March. Um, that I did, Is it March just gone? March mm. 14, oh, March, March 2014. 14, yeah. And I did that Golden Jester, I did Funny Women Contest, got to the semis, got to Edinburgh Festival, yeah. and it just went on and on and on. All these, I, I went on a contest route, I got a buzz for it yeah. quite early, and I was doing quite well in it. And um, by the end of December, I was doing gigs opening for like Richard Blackwood. So, so I have wow. to give thanks, so, it's been an amazing journey. And we, was there that apprehension? Because no one wants to bomb, right? You know, they don't want to go in front of a crowd, and everyone's just staring at you thinking, mm -hmm. When's the joke coming? You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. That was my biggest fear, because I used to go to these shows and you don't see... You know, when you pay and you yeah. go to these mm. big shows, you never see anyone dying or, or crashing mm. live. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know about the open mic sort of yeah. scene where you just... Yeah. Like, every night in London, there's a free comedy. There's comedy every night you can go and see. Yeah. But I only went to the paid ones. If you go to the free ones, you might see a bit more <laughs> ropey ones, ones that may crash in that. But that's when I realised that Everybody has to try. Even in Edinburgh Festival season, the top guys, Paul Chowdhury or mm. whoever you are, they still mm. go to the open mics and test out. I've seen mm. some of yeah. that on open mic, and 
and they do some material which kind of makes you scratch your head. You're wondering, that's really not good. It's testing. Mm. They're it's like testing for te it. They're trialing it out. Yeah, so, I never okay. knew about that. So you're right. My biggest fear was going out there and dying. Yeah. But I've got a story like when I went to this show, Christmas special, and I'm not going to name, I'm not gonna name any names, yeah. but I saw like a famous comedian who's been around for like over 10 years. What does their name begin with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, Rob that's what I'm going to give you. The jewelry is out. Don't quote me. But um, when I saw him die at Christmas, I mean, as in on stage. On stage. No, he's he's not alive. Literally. He's not, alive. He's no alive, guys. Yeah. He's alive. <laughs> no one died. What, no, no, no one's died. Yeah. But when he actually crashed, then yeah. live. And I thought, oh my God, yeah. he's been. This is a years. huge name, and it can still happen. So to if him. it can happen to him, yeah. so mm. that was sort of the oomph. Yeah. Mm. That I thought, I'm going to give it a shot. So that was December. Jana went on si on holiday with my younger sister, mm. like her and four of her mates I'd never seen before, and I literally one of them was on the floor laughing till she, literally uh. peed herself, literally. Yeah. And I said, you know what? This is beyond a joke. I need to take this up, and that's when I did the course. Wow. Uh. But the comedy guy always said to me, no, <laughs> just. Just do what you're doing yeah. and you'll be all right. Living, living, living the life. Living the life. Living the life. Living the life. Living the life.